第三十四对表演题目是 An Ambition of the of New Generation。计时开始。Now that you have graduated, what do you want to do for a living? I have a big dream. I want the world to be amazed at what Taiwan can achieve. Hey, maybe I can even establish my own company. <laughs> you are surely ambitious. I wish you good luck. But I'm only a college graduate. I'm afraid there's not much chance for me. Hey, bro, look what I just saw. This ad popped out when I was scrolling through Facebook. I think this might have something to do with your dream. Are you interested in starting your own business? If the answer is yes, you can miss the new Sunspot policy. It is a royal way for those who had the ambition to own a new company. <coughs> Today, we are introducing the path of economic cooperation and regional link. The government has held four summits this year. Some of them were successful with positive outcomes. Finally, regional link. The government decided to increase the sister cities between Taiwan and New South Wales country. For more information, please visit our website. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Wow, let me do some research right away. Look, here it says the government may provide financial aid up to $5 million. Wow, I just can't wait to get started. Gary launched his career with the financial aid of the enterprise subsidization policy of the government. By his father's inspiration, he invented a kind of powder extracted from slug marks. Combined forces with the facial masks from his father's company and renamed his products Lagun. One day at Taiwan Excellence Pavilion, a Filipina businesswoman noticed Jerry's product and has her eye on it ever since. She then contacted Jerry for a meeting. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Jerry. This is Isaac, my colleague. Thank you for seeing us. Not a problem at all. It's always a pleasure to meet business newbies. Come and make yourself at home. I have always wanted to find the perfect solution to moisturize my skin and to keep it clean after sweat. Therefore, Slugum was born with financial aid from the government. Here is our product. It can not only make you become much younger than before, but it's also made of 100% natural ingredients. The nutritive compound contribute to moisture and revitalization of your skin. What's more, it's absolutely safe without any side effect. Hmm, what differs your product from others? Well, Slugger makes constant contact with our skin, and it will be washed off by perspiration. The powder can also be a component of any cosmetics, so we are planning on applying it to sunscreens, moisturizers, makeup, and so on. I believe this could be a big hit here. Hmm, what would may, uh, be my profit if I uh, agree to manufacture your product here? If you can provide labor, we will provide our technique. Your workers even can come to Taiwan for internship and tourism due to the visa-free entry. You can get half of the profit <gasps> and we'll also donate money to NGOs in the Philippines. Hmm, that's a deal. has risen rapidly since the product hit the market. I still cannot believe that I actually fulfilled my dream. Wake up! It's real! The new South Wales policy not <clears throat> The new South Wales policy can not only increase the economic state in Taiwan, but also encourage the youth to chase their dreams. This mask is really awesome. 
From now on, a new generation can have a new ambition. 第三十五对表演题目是 The Hometown Code. 计时开始。Song for me. Actually, I am nobody but you made so much effort to help me. I have always felt empty deep in my heart, even though I'm a doctor here. I even had self-denial pr problems in my teens. But after volunteering in Vietnam, I found the people there were in desperate need of medical resources. Just one year of volunteering, and you have known us well, so you don't have any problem with speaking the language. No, that's the biggest pr problem. The language is definitely the bridge to building up the connection among the people. Mom, to tell the truth, why do I want to learn your mother tongue? We are in Taiwan, not Vietnam. My mother tongue? It's also yours. Learning a language is one of the best ways to know who we are. Not knowing one's, half, one's past is just a half man, according to my great-grandmother. Besides Taiwanese, you are a Vietnamese too. I didn't realize that until I took part in the camp. There are much people around the world. English is useful, but language in Vietnam helped me make friends who told me much about my hometown. Okay, I'm so surprised now. So you think Vietnam is your hometown? Come on, Mom. It's really a shame. I used to look down on my new nationality. But after the camp, after making new friends, I realized that my hometown needs me. Mm, you've grown up. Wait, it's time to go to the hospital. Hospital? Why? Is anyone sick? Mom, please tell me. Hey, Uncle Fem, how are you feeling? Hey, long time no see. Thanks for coming. Luck? Look, stop playing your video game. Come meet your uncle. <gasps> he came to Taiwan from Vietnam to have liver transplantation. Hello, Uncle Fan. Is everything all right? This is a flower for you. Luck, you're a senior high student now. Time flies. Fan, and this is... Sorry, this is my doctor. We had a medical encounter when she was in term. She helped She come here to help me. Have this operation. She's my benefactor. Uncle Fam, I'm flattered. It's my job to help people. Let alone, I'm also a son of Vietnam. Fam, is that is you? Maybe. Okay, I will go with you. Pardon, doctor? Did you just say you're also? Yeah, you have heard it right. I have dual nationality. Mm. My mother comes from Vietnam. No kidding, and you are a doctor now. Cha Eun is my role model. Do you know him? I hope I can go back to Vietnam to care for my fellow countrymen. The military doctor who went to Africa to serve and to devote. What a coincidence, I love him too. Every year, thousands of people around the world come to Taiwan, not for vacation, but to go to the hospital. It's like a modern medical tour. I've learned this in my medical camp, but what about those who can't afford the expense to come to Taiwan? And how about the visa problem? The experiences when I was in Vietnam inspired me deeply. There was so much I would like to do. They needed so much. But the lack of culture and language acknowledgement has long blocked the road. So if I would like to make some contribution there, what would you suggest? Actually, when I came back from the intern, all I wanted to do was finish my schooling and know well about my hometown. And? You gave up? A little. There must be some change in the regulations of the medical treatment and more manpower to figure out the real need for those southbound countries. I can't agree with you more, doctor. The more we know the need of the countrymen, 
the more we can do for them. Finally, the government has begun to try new policy. I've heard about it too. News has it that there will be some exchange student programs sharing resources of each other. Also, the visa applications will be less tough. I'm filled with hope. I know what I should do now. Go for it, young man. With your language ability and your passion for those in need, I'm sure you will be a great bridge in the new genre. Let's hope for the best together! The 36队表演题目是 New Direction, New Vision, and New Action. 计时开始. Hello. I'm so excited that you are accepted by the program Pilot Overseas Internship this semester. Me too. Can't wait to know the country we're heading to. Hey, it's great that both of you are here. I'm just about to tell you that our cooperative company of this intern program is in India. Wait. What? India? India? <sighs> I still cannot believe now we're in India. Thinking of our stay for the next six months, I'm still concerned about whether we can make it through our internship. You know, I'm seeing information about India on TV, and it seems that they have poor sanitation and hygiene, and mosquitoes may carry infectious diseases. Hey, don't worry. I have faith that the things will go smoothly and we'll get new experiences here. Hey, hold on. Are the two people over there are partner from Sun Pharma? I can see them holding a sign with our names on it. Let's go meet them. Welcome to India. Nice to meet you, guys. We are your partners for the internship. My name is Bahad. I'm Babita. So glad to see you. We're looking forward to working with you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Melby, and he's Wilson. It's an honor to be visiting here. Hope we have a good time working together. I'm sure we will. Now, your first stop is our company for some orientation. Let us briefly introduce our company to you on the way. Sun Pharma is a multinational pharmaceutical company headquartered in Mumbai. With annual revenue over 4 billion US dollars, Sun Pharma is now the top 30 pharmaceutical companies in the world and top one in India. We have nearly 15 manufacturing sites around the world. That's really a huge number. I've heard that India takes on a key position in the global pharmaceutical industry. That's true. The situation mainly results from production costs. They are nearly 33% lower than that in the U.S. Besides, labor costs here are over 50% cheaper than that in Western countries. I see. No wonder India is called the pharmacy of the world. Are we going to visit your lab today? Sure. sure. This, this way. way. Before everything starts, let's have lunch first. I believe both of you must be starving after taking a long flight. We have prepared some curry for you. It's the specialty of India. Hope you enjoy it. Wow, it tastes as good as it smells. By the way, I'm wondering what our internship is about. Oh yeah, we are now having a new project on hand which is about developing a new health supplement that helps people stay fit and healthy. Sounds interesting. It's true that people now care more about their body shapes. And how's it going? Well, it was smooth at first. However, we have a slight problem. We still need to find a crucial ingredient. So we hope that maybe you can give us some advice. I see. It is indeed a very thorny problem. Mm. Hey, Mel. Do you have any ideas? Mm. What's going on? Mm, I'm fine. But I think the curry tastes a little bit sour. I'm not sure if it's normal. Ah, it's probably Garcinia Cambodia. Garcinia Cambodia? What's that? I've never heard that before. It's a unique fruit native to India. The peel of it contains an extract called HCA. It helps people suppress appetite and reduce the amount of fat in your bodies. Wait, wait a minute, that's it. What? What are, are you talking about? about? No, not the curry. I mean ingredient in it, Garcinia Cambodia. Why not take it as the addition in your new product? Awesome! We should give it a try! How come it didn't occur to me? It's natural and cost effective. You'll be perfect for our product. We really like your idea. Let's do it! Yes! After tons of trials during these months, I'm so excited that we can finally launch our product this week. How about naming it Beauty Jelly? Awesome! I've made a video clip recording people respond to Beauty Jelly and upload on YouTube. People can see it and leave us some comments. I can't believe it! The video clip of Beauty Jelly has reached 1 million view counts in just a week! That's amazing! We finally made it! This 
This is Jackie reporting in India. I'm now in the lab of Sun Pharma. The staff here created Beauty Jelly, a product developed by the cooperation between Taiwan and India. Where did you find the inspiration for Beauty Jelly? One time when we were eating curry, we accidentally found that Garcinia Campbell Jack can be a great supplement for weight loss. Besides, jelly is one of the favorable snacks and is perfectly acceptable for people of all ages. There are so many countries in South Asia. Why did you choose India and how do you feel about the internship program? Well, it's totally unexpected. During the past six months, we found that our impression of India was wrong. They have superb abilities to develop high-tech products. And this program not only clarifies our myths for India, but also gives our brand new vision towards South Asia. Last question. Is there anything else you want to share with the young people in Taiwan? We need to be aware that the future battlefield is not restricted in Taiwan, but in the whole world. Since countries in South Asia are rapidly growing and they're right around us, there will be unlimited possibilities for us to broaden our horizons and explore the new world of the South. With new directions, new vision, and new actions, we, we can build reciprocal relationships between Taiwan and the world. The 38th表演题目是 South Belt Dreamers, Blue Sea Leaders. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to SBTV News. Today is November 4th, 2027. The following in that report is about South Belt Dreamers. On September 6, 2016, the Taiwanese government implemented their South Belt policy with the mandate of improving economic and trade cooperation improving talent cultivation, and developing regional links with the South Asian framework. Ten years ago, there were four young people who started their southbound dream. Now, let's look back at our story. Yeah, we won again! Good job! Uh, Olivia, why do you look upset? We can't be like this anymore. All we're doing is killing time. I'm tired of this. Hey, guys! I got great news! My boss says I have a chance to go to India! India? I refuse! The sunny India will give me a sunburn! Come on, Jennifer! It's not a big deal! Just take bottles of sunscreen with you! The trip won't be interesting without you! Fine, I'll give it a try! The four young people started their trip to India. The thing they wouldn't know is that the trip offered by Taiwanese government because of southbound policy will change their lives. The purpose of the southbound policy is to integrate Taiwan's strong educational and economic drive with South Asian countries. Oh my goodness! What happened? My bag is so far after a long flight! Wait! Hey Dad, what's up? What? Are you serious? Oh my goodness! And Faro wants us to border our horizon and study different cultures. I think we're here just for holidays. But think about it. We can also study during the tour. I'm interested in the concept of artificial intelligence. So I would like to model talent age. I know, which is a company using AI to help students in studying. All right, in that case, I would like to go to Bollywood to see movie making. So do I. Let's go and experience what we want to learn and gather together after two weeks. Let's, Let's go. go! The group realizes that the softball policy can open new doors for them. As a young person, being very adaptable is a skill that is sought after. Giving more opportunities is a key mandate of softball policy. Wow, Simon, look that. It's so cool. Yes, it is a mature industry in India, less as the employees in talent age. Hello, welcome to talent age. I'm the manager here. This is my secretary. Hi, nice to meet you and know that there are foreigners interested in your technique. It's my honor to guide you. Thank you for leading us. We are excited to have a chance to visit Hand Aid. Please follow us. This is the Department of Research. The idea of using AI to help students plan their own project is from here. I appreciate their abilities. They are really my idols. By the way, we want to learn about the technique here. According to the studies, India's technology ability is better than any other countries. That's right. We have the best technology ability in the world, and we produce perfect products. 
When I grow up, I want to set up a company in India and implement AI worldwide. The Southbound policy also focuses on culture exchanges. Taiwanese culture is very dynamic and adaptable in any other country. Wax Taiwanese Food Restaurant. Okay, just like what I said before, I had the money ready, but I haven't decided what country to set up my business in. I want to open a Taiwanese style restaurant. Now, I need to decide which country. I need your guys' opinions. Of course, it should be open in America. No, I don't want to disagree with you, but to say, Mainland China is the best nah, option. China is better. No, I don't think so. You don't yeah, understand. Yeah, it's it's the better All right. idea. All right, take it easy. I have a great idea. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wax Live Show. And Wex, today we are going to talk about a controversial issue, the location of Wex Taiwanese style restaurant. First of all, let's welcome our first competitor, Miss China. <laughs> and the second beautiful lady is Miss America. Hello, everyone. Let the other gorgeous gentleman is Mr. Tai. <laughs> Okay, in today's show, three questions will be asked. Whoever presses the buzzer first and get the answer correct will score one point. The competitor who achieves two points first will be the champion. The game is about to begin. Let's go! Question one. Based on the country's national economic situation, which country is the most suitable for wax restaurant? Ready? Get set? Go! Oh. Miss China, please answer the question. The high consuming ability of people in China is well known around the world. Many of my friends are very young men in their early 20s. It's common for them to go to a restaurant once or twice a week. Therefore, I believe. China is the best place for Wax Chinese restaurant. Excellent! That is a great dancer. Give her a big round of applause, please. That's one point for China. Congratulations. Okay, question two. Based on the global fashion trend, which country is the best option for Wax restaurant? Ready? Get set? Go! Miss America, please answer the question. The United States has international students and migrants from all over the world. Chinatowns, for example, are very famous. 
If works Taiwanese restaurant is in your Chinatown, many consumers from different countries will dine there. So, works Taiwanese restaurant is best located in the United States. More applause! <laughs> That's really an awesome answer. That's one point for America. Congratulations. Okay, here comes the last question. According to national culture and food culture, which country is the best for wax restaurant? Please answer the question. Great, Mr. Tai, please answer. Taiwanese people are very passionate and easy to get along with. Learning Chinese in Thailand is common, and wax can speak good Chinese. Besides, the food culture lives very close to Taiwan. So, wax restaurant is best suited for Thailand. Congratulations to Mr. Tai, who gave one point. The current score is one to one to one, showing a Thai situation. Now, we are going to enter the playoffs to decide who will be the final winner. Final question. Please describe the reason why a wax restaurant must be set up in your country. Ready? Get set, go! In 1992, Taiwan has opened up to allow Southeast Asian workers to work there. At that time, the largest number of workers was from Thailand. My father was one of them. What impressing the most is human test. One night, the power ran out in my dad's factory dome due to a typhoon. The boss was worried that my dad and his co-workers had nothing to eat. He brought in some breast pork rice which warmed all the workers' hearts. If wax Taiwanese restaurant could be opened in Thailand, the beauty of Taiwan could be passed on to Thailand. Fantastic story! Impressive! Bravo! I made it! The winner goes to Mr. Tai! Congratulations! Life is different when it's life. Hey, 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 you need some help? Yeah, sure, thanks. Oh, it says oh, no, that no, no, don't you're do in. Really? Yeah. What about you? Oh, I guess we're going to India together. Yeah, this one, bro. Oh, oh, yay. An exchange student! That's so cool! Awkward. Wow! I never knew that India was such a great market for business and investment. Well, considering that India is a favorite destination for foreign investment, competition is fierce. Why creativity and innovation are so important for business. Hello, my name is Jamal and this is Joey. Welcome to India. Oh, oh thanks. I'm Aras and she Emma! And... So what motivated you guys to join this international business training program? Well, we're both huge fans of South and Southeast Asian culture, so we'd love to start a business on culture commercialization building a bridge between Taiwan and Southeast Asia. <coughs> what do you think? Sounds lovely. That way, we not only get to see more and learn more, but it also paves the way for future cooperation. And forging regional links between Taiwan and Southeast Asia. Yeah, we got the thought, but we don't know where to start. Yeah, and even if we do start, we haven't come up with a way to promote our business. Well, that's all right. I'm sure you'll find the answers to your problems. We, we hope so, too. Oh, by the way, did you know that you arrived just in time for Holy Utsav? Holy what? Holy Utsav, the Holy Festival. It's one of the most oily known festivities in India. Well, is it fun? You'll see. I hope you brought some spare clothes. Oh, of course I did. Wait, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, 
whoa, whoa. I wasn't expecting this. Although it's crazy awesome. Yeah! I've got to share this. Well, you know, different color powders mean something special to us. For example, green symbolizes a new beginning. Oh yeah, just like what we're doing right now. And did you know that it's been adopted in many events around the world? Like color rug. Yeah, good example. Hey guys, say namaste to the people. I'm live streaming. Wow. Hi, ni hao, namaste. Oh, we're celebrating Holi in India. Well, yeah, you're right. Well, Holi is seen as a time for people to get together without any concern for caste or religion. It bridges the society gap and, re and renew relationships. It's Sari, thank you. Okay, guys, gotta go. But if you want to know more, you we are holy. Stay tuned. See ya. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Stay bye tuned. Wow, it's so amazing how you can get authentic feedback oh, immediately because of the transparency of live streaming. And not to mention the love you get from the people. That's why people do it nearly all the time nowadays. Love and trust. Authentic feedback, a new trend. Wait, I've got an idea. For the people, of course. A people-oriented business. Yeah, a people-oriented business focuses on the interaction between people, building mutual trust, and working towards the same goal. Also, after you've started your business, you can use live stream to promote your ideas and the cultures of different nations, like a commercial, only live and real. Exactly. That way, we gain people's support, fame, and authentic, and authentic feedback. I love the idea of putting live streaming into our business. Yeah, with the mutual trust between people, conducting talent exchanges between the nations will be no problem. Also, with live stream, you get to learn all about Southeast Asian cultures before you visit. No matter what we do, in the end, it's all about the people. Then why don't we just start with the people? People oriented. A, A business, business for the people. people. Seeing new cultures, live and unfiltered. Thank you.